today we're going to be replacing the spoiler <coughs> on the Mustang. We got this a couple years back uh, on a budget, so it came from overseas, pre-painted, got the job done. Never really was perfect, uh, but again, on a budget, it worked. But you can see over time, it's faded. And one thing that it has done recently is it's bubbled up here in the center. Not really sure what caused that. It's had some hail damage. Uh, you can see a lot, some dimpling. Maybe you can see it in the video along the top. And so we're going to replace it with um, the GT500 spoiler with winglet from American Muscle. Give it a shot before. Here's the box from America, American Muscle. So now we'll cut it open and unbox it and see what's on the inside. Now that I cut the tape, we'll stand it up. Let's pull her out. They've got it wrapped pretty good. 3M tape instruction. The winglet. And then the actual spoiler itself. All right, now we got everything out of the packaging. Looks pretty good. We went with a pre-painted just to make things simpler and it really wasn't that much difference in the cost. The paint overall looks pretty good. A little, the underside of the spoiler probably could have been a little bit better, but I guess it doesn't, doesn't matter because it's not seen a whole lot. I don't know if you can see it. but it's not the smoothest finish on the back side of the spoiler. But I guess it'll be, it'll be okay, we'll make it work. All right, we got the little the package open out it had all the parts and pieces so already a whole lot better quality and a lot more attention to detail on this MP concept spoiler versus the one we got overseas originally uh, shouldn't need the template should hopefully it's drilled similar to the one that we already have um, then you see the adhesive pads for the parts that actually make contact with the hood with the trunk lid, screws, and your handy dandy instructions. All right, looks like now we're ready to start uh, removing the old one. Okay, now let's open the trunk start taking it apart so it's first thing we got to do is take our little pry tool and take off all these little plastic retainers and then we got to remove the the two bump stops I meant pretty easy to remove the plastic retainers just put the tool underneath and pull it out. So let me get those uh, removed real quick. Okay, all of the clips are removed and now we'll just take out these little rubber stops. You just screw them out.
pretty easy. Alright. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is just remove this little hand T handle here. And then to get this off, all I do is I put my little pry tool underneath and pop the plastic off. Once that's popped off, you just simply remove the cover. And then now you can see I've lined the trunk in the past with some boom mat. And one of the recalls on the 2016 Mustangs is the backup camera, which Ford did that one. You can see some remnants where they had to get in and run all new wiring uh, to the camera. And I think that's why some of that is actually separated. Okay, now I guess the first thing I'm gonna do, we'll take these little rubber grommets off on the side to get to, so we can get to those screw holes. You can see inside there's one of the screws. The same on the on the other side. Pull the grommet off to expose the screw. And then here, pull this boom mat back. And so we can get to it. All right. Set the camera down so I can use two hands to get this off and then we'll be. So now we'll start working on uh, removing the screws and then prying this thing off. Hopefully the adhesive will have some give. You see there's three, you've got the center two and that white there is where we sealed it. The factory spoiler had a a screw there that the aftermarket did not so I didn't want to leave it exposed so I filled it in with some caulk so now I take a 10 millimeter socket and start to loosen these screws and just to show you so there's three actual points where it bolts down right side center and left side one note of caution is as you're taking these bolts out you got to be careful not to drop them down inside the trunk lid it's about impossible to get out once you do there's a couple different ways you can use some adhesives some tapes but most most of us will just partially close the lid of the trunk as we're getting close to getting it to the end and that way that screw should just come right out using gravity and a little luck so as one could expect with a uh, cost-effective spoiler from overseas I had one stud that stripped out in the base of the spoiler so I tried cutting a, an access hole in the spoiler, but it couldn't get to it. So I actually had to cut the top of the spoiler off so I could get to this stud that was stripped out. It's about the only way I could get to it without, we tried prying and putting a lot of pressure, but it still wouldn't move. And all I did was took my oscillating saw. And you can see first, I did cut an access hole to try to get to it without, that when that wasn't working, I said, okay. So I just cut the whole bottom of that section of the spoiler off. And again, doesn't surprise me with uh, what it is and where it came from. So now, I want to show you guys that before I actually uh, get in here and remove this out. So, even after I cut the top off, still that base was not, was still spinning, and I really couldn't get a good handle on it. So, I actually had to take real carefully and 
score around the, the stud so I can remove the top piece. And now that it's off, you can actually see the culprit there. So I'm just gonna take my handy dandy vice grip and hold on this side while I get the socket and unscrew from underneath. So, finally got the pesky bolt and stud out, but I'd be lying if I told you it got any easier. It didn't, it's got harder. But that, I'm kind of glad that happened, so it give me a second to talk about. A lot of people don't take on job, mod jobs or doing things to their vehicles or anything in general because they're afraid of what might could happen let this be you know as long as you don't get stressed out you take your time you figure it out it really most times is not that not that bad uh, in my case i used to oscillate and saw and end up having to saw the bolt in two before it was all said and done carefully without getting into the the trunk lid but it worked out and i'm sure there's a hundred different ways to do it but even once i had the stud and everything exposed it was all stripped and it just was not moving the only way i had at that point was to actually take the oscillating saw and saw the back off what you're actually looking at here this is the the stud that was mounted inside the spoiler itself that broke loose this is what it looks like when it's in but guys don't be afraid to tackle a project because you're worried about something that might happen things are going to happen this is part of it that's what makes it even more enjoyable once you're done the fact that you overcame the challenges so now with that done I need I will go ahead and and clean the deck and get everything ready for the next step most of this adhesive it'll just roll right off the fingertip uh, it's usually not that bad see it's it's coming right up it's just a lot of times it comes up in a bunch of little pieces and that's what's a pain so I want to take a minute to show you guys uh, <coughs> one of the cleaners I like using on a car that's pretty clean. Um, I wouldn't use it if the car was had like layers of dirt, but for your general removing spots, uh, just light cleaning, or just a, you want to shine it, uh, the Meguiar's Ceramic Detailer is what I like using and most of the time I just spray it on a microfiber tile and wipe it but in this particular application where we've got a large area you know I'm probably just gonna spray it on the surface and then wipe it but it does a really good job it doesn't cut so it's not gonna remove any wax or get down uh, deep into the paint very good general purpose cleaner that is one of my go-to's for cleaning now of course it's not going to get this off but I, I just wanted to clean all around before I get the last of the uh, adhesive off from the old spoiler now we we'll get everything clean I ended up having to use a, a cutting agent to get the last little bit of adhesive off uh, one of my favorite go-to cutting agents is the Schaefer's Citraw and it smells really good it smells like oranges yeah, a lot of times I'll use this for bugs and different things but it it has a cutting agent in it and it'll get things off but this is what I used uh, 
they get the last of the adhesive off. Now the final prep to get it ready for the 3M adhesive so it adheres is I'm going to take some alcohol and clean the areas around where the 3M adhesive will go. You don't have to go crazy with it. Just pour a little on a rag, wipe it clean, and it'll make it to where that 3M adhesive sticks pretty good. All right, one thing I wanted to do since we're going from a low end spoiler from overseas to a, a better one from American Muscle, I wanted to compare the the hole patterns between the new and the old. And you can see right away the one thing that got me when I was taking the old one apart, the old one has nuts that are made in to the fiber glass, which is prone to problems which you can see that's what problem I had the new one is how it should be it's got studs made into the spoiler and you just put a nut on underneath a lot better and plus what those studs do is they give you alignment they help you line it up and you're not fighting it when you're putting it on All right. Part of the prep work before we I've already did a dry fit everything is fine like I said because the whole patterns are pretty much the same from the stock spoiler that come on the car but as, as we begin to prep we just want to remove the little plastic covers And then we're gonna wipe down with the alcohol again and clean this and get it ready and stick on the 3M adhesive pads that are gonna help hold it and seal some of the water out when it's actually on the car. So we're gonna, I'm gonna clean it and get these on and then we'll be back. All right, now it's all prepped and ready to go on the car. Now, one thing I was contemplating was putting the winglet on before. The videos I've watched and the uh, instructions even say, put this winglet on after. I still kind of feel like I can get more leverage and get in a better position mounting the winglet before. It goes on the car, but we're gonna go with the guys that made it know something I don't know. So I'm gonna stick with the instructions and put the winglet on afterwards. So I wanna show you guys uh, the dry fit, because you may be stressing over when to actually peel and align it. But I'm telling you, with the holes that are drilled, especially if you're using the factory holes like we had in this one, once they're in the holes, there is no horizontal or vertical movement. It's in there. So I know on some spoilers I've done in the past on other models of car, you really got to get everything lined up before you put it in the hole. But with these spoilers, with they have the guide, not only the... The lugs that you're screwing into but they have the guides there's no there's no movement once it's in place so but i wanted to show that to you guys before i actually stick it so now i can actually pull it out and put the pull the adhesive pads off all right now that we actually got it stuck on the car with a 3m adhesive we can start putting the screws back in. Now the first set of screws, 10 millimeter sockets. So, again, the 3M adhesive is on, so it's gonna stick. You see, same 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. Now that we've got the spoiler on, it's being held in place right now with the uh, 3M adhesive. 
we're going to go ahead and put the 10 millimeter nuts on. All right, there's a couple of different ways, or you can say tricks, that you can use to, to put the nuts on so that you don't drop them and you keep them in place. Um, some people will just put them on like normal, but most most will will use this method just to an added layer of safe security. So you take the nut, you put it in your socket, you take some painter's tape, and you put over the nut and the socket. Now you don't. Now I always like to go ahead. And cut a little hole in the nut but you could you could just put the nut right on and it should be fine and so the way that'll work is once we get it on and start it we can pull the painters tape off and not worry about losing the nut now here's what it looks like when you're putting it on so again we got our painters tape and we're just going to take, and actually, that extension's put me in a weird angle, so I'm going to pull it off real quick. I'm just going to use the socket. And like I said, once you get it good and started, um, I always like to pull it off at that point. Because what happens if you go ahead and secure it all the way down, it's kind of hard to get the tape off at that point. So, this is my tip from years of experience in putting a handful of spoilers on. I wouldn't say I've put. So now that's what it looks like. And now I'll just reach back rip that off and now you have a, a nut that's nice and secure so at this point I'm just gonna go ahead and hand tighten that all the way down again a lot of people are just gonna say that ah, that's just too much time I'll just put it on by hand but in the instance you drop it and it goes down in the recesses of the trunk lid it's gonna be a bad day for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the other three on and then we'll come back. We're out of daylight, so I had to uh, reposition the car so we had some good lighting for the video. But now I've got all the nuts on and secure. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in reverse order, put all the pieces back on here, and then we'll mount the winglet. Got the boom mat back on, and the two grommets on the outside. Now to put the covers back on. All right. Everything's back together now. All the push pins in, bump stops, latch cover. We're good to go. So now we're gonna shut the trunk. All right. The first step in prepping the winglet, our wicker bill, as the instruction would call it, is we're just gonna clean these little discs with alcohol and stick the 3M adhesive on it. And then we're going to uh, clean the actual back of the spoiler with alcohol, line it up. All right, we got the 3M adhesive on and the wing look prepped. So now we'll go to the spoiler. All right, after we, I prepped with the alcohol, put the winglet up just to get it centered. 
I did lay down some painter's tape to give me a guide when I go to put stick the 3M adhesive. I didn't worry so much about the sides putting the guides because I figure if the middle's straight and centered, the sides will work themselves out. So now we'll uh, peel off the 3M adhesive and stick it to the spoiler. Okay, the 3M adhesive discs weren't really, they didn't really have enough surface area to, to stick without drilling, so I had to go ahead and drill these holes and get the center on and now I'm going to show you uh, drilling the outside and lining it up. So for this it's it's good if you have a helper so we'll pull it up against nice and tight lined up with my painter's tape and then while my helper is holding I'm going to drill a 764th hole. And be careful not to over drill. And once you get the hole drilled, put the screw in. Again, you don't you just want to snug it up. You don't want to over tighten because with this just being fiberglass, it will strip the hole out and then you're in trouble. All right, that's nice and snug. And it looks still lined up. Now we'll do the other side. All right, now we got all the holes drilled and the screws in. So I'll remove the tape. Okay, it's all done now. Actually, it turned out pretty good definitely a lot better looking and a lot better quality than the uh, cost-effective one from overseas that, that we had purchased the first time so it looks good the paints good Actually, it turned out pretty good. So overall, I'd say the insulation wasn't that bad, uh, other than the fact that the I had to cut the old spoiler apart because of the stud that froze on me. This. Spoiler from American Muscle, well built, easy to install, great instructions, and I'm well pleased with the overall quality and appearance.